Welcome to this Hockey Insider bonus episode. I'm joined by former Canadian defenseman, assistant coach, and Stanley Cup champion Rick Green, and our hockey analytics guru, Andrew Berkshire. Um, Kirby Doc, second game of the season, major knee injury, ACL, MCL, misses the whole season. Uh, he's back skating again, which is nice to see. Do you think he can come back from this injury, Rick, and have a key role? I mean, I don't know what the biggest injury was you had to come back from but this is a major injury like there's no guarantee he's going to come back next season and be the player you are yeah I, I feel really you know bad for Kirby I mean the guy's been snake bit uh you know since he's been here and this type of reconstructive surgery on his knee is mind you they're they're able to do some great things but you know I'm hopeful that he'll he'll respond in in, in a good way so that he can uh show his stuff and um Time will tell. I mean, it's, people don't realize the uh, the work that's involved in, in the rehab and and how much effort has to go into finding a way to get yourself back to, uh, you know, 100%. So the challenge will be, uh, obviously, get him on the ice, hopeful that, you know, his body will hold together. He's a young kid. He's got tremendous upside, and we just got to see him healthy and hopefully all that Bad luck, fortune will be behind him, and we can see what really uh, Kirby Doc is all about. Yeah, on the one hand, you know, he missed a lot of time. On the other hand, he's had his first point per game season, guys. So great uh, <laughs> great progression point for Kirby Doc. I think he can do it. You, you look at his talent level and his physicality. I think the main thing is going to be if he can stay healthy in other areas, right? Obviously, you don't want to injure the same thing, but he's had – just a weird string of injuries to start his career. And I think too often we're willing to call a player injury prone when some things can just be dumb luck. Like his injury this year was completely random. It wasn't that he did anything wrong or that he shouldn't have got injured. His leg got stuck and twisted and it looks awful <laughs> to watch it still, but uh, he's a smart kid. They've been involving him in, I believe the pre-scouting meetings. So he's still learning even though he's off. I expect him to come back and be good. It's just if he can't play, you know, 75 games next season, the Canadians are going to have to question where they're going to get another center if they don't get one already this offseason. Yeah, he's been jinxed. I mean, broken hand with the World Junior team and then knee injury last season, another knee injury this season. I wonder, like, he's looked tentative when he's been on the ice. I can tell with the knee, but it's good that he is skating now because that means he'll be able to continue skating through the summer to get ready. I wonder mentally, though, what impact that has. Now, Rick, Rick what, what was the worst injury you had during your career that you had to come back from? Uh, broken wrist, I guess, uh, from the standpoint of because we were allowed to push and hack back in our day. That Just took, a little bit. <laughs> that took some wear, wear and tear and some ouches each night and those type of things. Uh, they, they hang on for, for life uh, sometimes. So... Anyways, it's, like I said, it's really challenging um, to come back from injury and to, first of all, you know, make sure or hopeful that the injury has been uh, repaired and you put it behind you and you kind of want to pick up where you left off without having to worry in the back of your mind, oh, no, here, here we go again. And it, that, that can play on your mind. That's challenging. Uh, and it's part of it. But, uh, you know, uh, hopeful that... Um, uh, things will, will play out better for Kirby. Rick, was there a player you played with or teammate that you were like amazed, like how he could come back from an injury or play through injury? Or... Uh, well, there's, there, there's a, a large number of them, but I, I always, I go the other side when I, I think of a guy named uh, Peter, Peter Scamura. And every time we were going to go to Philadelphia, he'd come down yeah. with an injury and nobody know where he got injured <laughs> other than, he was concerned about the Philadelphia Flyers, but no, there's, there's a lot of guys. I mean, Ryan Walter, for an example, this guy was uh, uh, banged and hacked and, and, and hurt two knee braces uh, and didn't stop him. He was, uh, he only knew one way to play and that was uh, straight ahead. And uh, he, he showed no fear. So Ryan Walter would be one that would uh, uh, impress me out of uh, a number of guys that I, you know, played with over the years. 
Yeah, he was a tough guy. He never got the Philly flu, right? <laughs> no, no, he was, thank goodness, one of the ones that showed up in Philly. All right, that's it for this uh, Hockey Inside Out bonus episode. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. Go to montrealgazette.com slash newsletters to sign up for the Hockey Inside Out newsletter. And, of course, go to hockeyinsideout.com every day where you'll find all the latest Canadian news.